What's up guys, this is the Mad Reaper here and today we're going to be reviewing the Ultimate Edition Ric Flair. The Mad Reaper. Hey guys, we're reviewing the Ultimate Edition Ric Flair. Here's some box pictures in the package. Oh no, what's up with that foot? Looks ugly. The packaging looks pretty nice. I mean, I love the Ultimate Edition packaging. I think these are the nicest boxes that they've had. So let's open it up. All right, I just unboxed the Ric Flair here, the Ultimate Edition. He comes with the base figure here, pink robe. This looks amazing. And uh, the Four Horsemen fingers, which are pretty cool pointer fingers, and a new head scan. This head scan is great. It looks amazing. And the big gold. My initial thoughts here as I'm playing with the figure, I'm kind of adjusting his form. One of my things, I'll just be honest, I guess, yeah. Uh, I've always noticed that Flair's legs always have a really weird calf. And I and I still see that, so it's so it's like weird for me to see because they are really like thin, and it kind of seems like it jets out bow-legged a little bit on all of his figures. So I don't know if this is like Mattel's just their design, but like this is this is one thing where I do think they could uh, improve on the flair. I really do think they could. Uh, use a thicker leg, like a Bobby Roode leg or something, and then you'll get also thicker calves, and I think you would get straighter legs, and it would be a much better figure. Maybe I could do that fix up and see if it is actually. Um, the boots look great. I love these pink boots. Uh, I hate the, just like on the Stone Cold and all of the Ultimate Editions, I hate how this looks like this more often than not from the factory. I really wish there was a way that they could prevent the tip toe from move, making that movement because that movement just like yeah it looks so gross to me um it just reminds me of like a toy biz figure like spider-man that had the toe articulation from like 2001 and i'm like well why why hasn't there been a better improvement on it it took long enough to get it, but I think there's ways they can make it better. I mean, wrestling boots are so cool, and that's why like I really like what Jazzwares have been doing with their details. And uh, this one looks like a little shoddy in paint. I mean, that down there looks pretty bad. Knee pads are always nice on flares. They give them two-tone. The purple trunks is a nice color. The deco, the RF looks great. The torso is the same as the uh, Stone Cold. That's the thicker one, except it's a tanner color. It's a more tan plastic. The head and the way it sits, the hair on the body is perfect. I really like when Mattel hits it like this. This is a perfect head placement. It looks just like the legend himself. Yeah, it's really cool. Got a little thing here, it's white. It looks like a speck of white paint, or maybe it's from the, maybe it's from the plasticing or the factory, it looks like it might be. Yeah, I don't know. It's just some little marks there. Flashing from the hair. I mean, this is supposed to be a premium WWE figure. And I would say that that cost is definitely put into the robe. <laughs> Let's put it on him. I'm excited to have this Ric Flair with the pec, uh, the flies here. These shoulder flies are gonna be so cool for the movement of, just how it makes it look more natural. It really opens up the shoulders to move inwards more and contract the torso and the pectorals in which the typical like basics and the Mattel or the elites are so like static that it does kind of cause like limitations severe limitations on the movement of a figure like you could only basically move them this close because the bicep would get caught but with these flies here you have so much more range of movement you can 
you can have him adjusting his watch, moving his hands back and forth. I mean, so, so Ric Flair. This is great. The material that they've been using lately is nice because it's thin. It's kind of bad because it's thin. If you guys remember like Rick Rude's robe, you guys know what I mean. Um, but at the same time with this scale, it's really important to have thin flowy fabrics that uh, more often than not emulate the flow of a natural fabric on a full size human. So they're not gonna be able to use the real thick material for robes here and if they did it would actually look pretty bad on the figure because it would look so much like a thick piece of clothing on a immovable figure whereas keeping it light like this dub sublimate dye sublimated material it's got some metallic uh i don't know if the camera's picking that up metallic yeah it is nice metallic application on top some chrome to really give the look of this whole thing a lot of sparkles and it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and put his four horsemen hands on. Right, let's put on his other head scan too. Yeah you guys this is definitely the best Ric Flair. That Mattel. Look at that any of them have made to be honest. Yeah this is the best Ric Flair figure. Yeah, I'm loving this, you guys. You guys gotta almost play with him just to like establish that presence. Like, I feel like this is just as good of a time as any. Like, one of my big things is like the, when I'm customizing figures, my main thing that I am trying to accomplish isn't any sort of one detail. It's an overall presence of character. And Ric Flair is one of those superstars that he might have really basic attire without the robe. And that might make him to look like not very toyetic. But Ric Flair's like actually got that presence of him where his attires might be simple in their formats. But the colors and the way they pop really make him a toyetic figure. And then his facial expressions and his hair really make this like this looks like a the top 10 wrestling figure i mean it just looks great it blows away all of the defining moments ones they had nice robes too almost yeah i mean i wanted to say nicer robes and maybe in terms of construction and stuff but this really takes the defining moments robe uh what they've learned with the retro fest robe and then the blue blue defining moments retirement robe and like rolled it into one and they have this really beautiful like v tailoring shape to the robe and it just gives it a whole new level of class yeah i'm gonna here i'm gonna tie his robe and then i'll turn it back on here yeah you guys i'm really stoked with this figure i really think that this is the best rick flair that mattel's made and uh, I'm really excited to get this. I want to get like four more of them just to customize and play with parts. I really like the torso. The standard torso that Ric Flair had before is one of my favorite torsos that Mattel's made. And then here they've just upped it up in terms of quality and aesthetic and likeness. So uh, good job to Bill and all the boys at Mattel. Like I'm really Happy to have this figure in the hands, family. Yeah, so if you guys found that review helpful or interesting, go ahead and like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm the Mad Reaper. We're going to keep on breaking some figures, so stay tuned next time.
Thank you.